Hello, my name is Helen Yang. I'm a student at Columbia University and an assistant at the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub. I'm excited to be sharing with you today the COVID Information Commons Student Paper Challenge, an exciting opportunity for undergraduate students to get involved with some of the most promising research to mitigate the broad societal impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. For a bit of background, the COVID Information Commons, or KIC, is an open website developed by the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub, along with the other regional big data hubs, to help facilitate knowledge sharing and collaboration across COVID-19 research efforts. In particular, the over 900 Rapid Response Research, or RAPID, projects and other COVID-related projects that the U.S. National Science Foundation, or NSF, has funded to date. The KIC platform has already brought together many researchers, decision makers from academia, and leaders from government, nonprofit, and industry to identify collaboration opportunities and to leverage each other's research findings. This challenge is a unique opportunity for you as an undergraduate student to join the scientific community and to learn about and contribute your own insights to the multidisciplinary and cutting edge research being conducted on the pandemic. In this video, I'll provide an overview of everything you need to get started to participate in the challenge. You can access the main webpage for this challenge from the homepage of the KIC website at covidinfocommons.net or by navigating to Opportunities and Resources and then KIC Student Paper Challenge from the menu. At the top of the page, you'll find a brief overview of the KIC and the challenge. Essentially, your task is to leverage the KIC resources to write a four to five page double spaced paper on a topic related to COVID research of your choice. Winning papers will have the opportunity to be published on the KIC website and added to the Columbia University Academic Commons, an archive of scholarly work produced by Columbia students and affiliates. Winners will also have the opportunity to present their work at a future KIC community webinar. Below, you'll find two buttons linking to two participation forms, one for students and one for researchers or professionals working on issues related to COVID-19 who are interested in sharing their expertise as mentors or judges. By filling out the participation form, you'll be notified of any updates and new resources to help you develop your papers, including office hours with mentors. Beginning in late January and through February and March, these office hours will be an opportunity for you to work with researchers actually studying COVID-19 on your paper ideas. A few key dates are listed below the links to the participation forms. Please submit your participation form as well as the title of your paper and a short abstract summarizing the background and goals of your paper by February 15th. Final papers are due on April 1st and winners will be announced in May. Here you can click to download full information about the challenge as a PDF. Moving on to more of the specifics, you'll find an explanation of the challenge and a note about eligibility. This opportunity is currently open to undergraduate students around the world. If you have any questions about eligibility, please email info at covidinfocommons.net. Next, we've also provided a few example approaches and resources to get you started. I'd like to emphasize that the scope of possible topics is very broad to give you the opportunity to explore the diverse issues being investigated by scientists and apply your unique skills and knowledge to delve deeply into a topic that genuinely interests you and contributes to the current scientific discourse. With research being conducted on so many facets of the pandemic in so many disciplines, the options for topics you could write about are unlimited. We encourage you to use the resources on the KIC website, including the tools for learning about the over 900 NSF-funded COVID-related research projects, and other resources like our Meet the Researchers page, where you can listen to lightning talks or read articles by researchers studying COVID-19, or a curated collection of data sets to help you choose your topic. As just a few examples, you could discuss a potential cross-disciplinary area of study, a question based on the experiences of students during the pandemic, or regional differences in pandemic research. You could also analyze a data set on a particular topic and write a paper about your findings. To explore the full collection of resources available on the KIC website, you can navigate to the pages under Opportunities and Resources in the menu. We've also recorded a video demonstrating in depth how to leverage the different KIC resources to develop your paper ideas. Regarding evaluation, your papers will be judged by a committee of researchers and other experts based on their demonstration of knowledge about COVID research and original insights that could further societal goals. The evaluation will be loosely based on the criteria the NSF uses to evaluate grant applications, which you can read a bit about here. Towards the end, we have a list of frequently asked questions, which range from formatting to eligibility to content. Please take a look through them and don't hesitate to email info at covidinfocommons.net if you have any other questions. 
Finally, we invite you to join the COVID Information Commons community to interact with researchers studying COVID-19 and keep up to date with research news and opportunities, which may help you in writing your paper. You can sign up for our newsletter, join the Slack channel, and register for our next community webinar, which will feature lightning talks by several researchers about their COVID-related projects. With that, we really hope you'll take the COVID Information Commons Student Paper Challenge, join a community of scientists and leaders committed to supporting communities around the world during this unprecedented time, and help accelerate the future of COVID research.